I like the halter geldings 1, 3, 4, 2, where I choose to start with the sleek and balanced 1 and end with the individual that is the least complete in 2. Beginning with 1 over 3, I appreciate the sorrel's modern and athletic look. He is evenly divisible into thirds with a more ideal angulation in the shoulder and hip. Additionally, he is more expressive and even muscling, and when I step in front of him, he has a deeper chest with greater pectoral definition. I appreciate that the Palomino is slightly more refined in his muzzle. In my middle pair of 3 over 4, I praise the Palomino for being more structurally correct. When viewed from the front, I find him to be more square and stronger through his knees and down his cannon bones, with a straighter way of going while tracking. I grant that the bay is more petite in his ears. In a bottom pair of more structurally faulted geldings, 4 retains an advantage over 2 in his quality and muscling. He is more refined and shorter from eye to muzzle and carries more adequate muscling throughout his frame. This is especially noted when viewed from the rear, where he is more rounded in appearance over his croup. I found no obvious grants in 2 over 4. Today, I easily found the blanketed brown last. He is the narrowest and coarsest mate of the class with the lightest muscling. To me, his structure should concern any practical horseman. His left fore deviates outwards, and when I step behind him, I notice that he bows out at his hocks, resulting in him winging in as he tracks. Thus, he is last in my class today. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out our other livestock and horse judging videos at the Alabama Cooperative Extension YouTube channel.